Hi, Devin. Mabuhai, Ibu. <laughs> oh, German to Tagalog. We are living for the hello, hi. And we're saying hello, hi to who? We are saying hello, hi to Vincent Bueno. Yes, Herr Bueno. He has the song alive, ready to go for Eurovision 2020. Should we listen and react? Let's do this. Asian brother, I'm ready to listen. Your pods are on. All right, hitting palay. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Right. Okay. Oh, drama. Alive. alive. Come alive. <laughs> <laughs> Shackle bolts. Mmm, jazzy and soulful. That's him though, isn't it? Behind a wall of egos, there is a hidden hero in us. That's a good voice. Yeah. Serving face. You make me feel like Ooh. I'm getting Guy Sebastian vibes. Yeah, tonight again. In a good way. Funky. 2020! Oh, doesn't sound already funny to me. I like it. You make me feel alive. Oh! Yes, this is it way up. No sad ballad here. <laughs> what? I like this video. There's a clear aesthetic. It's urban. It's modern. Babe. How do you feel alive in a dark warehouse? The rhythm, the flow. He can move as well. He can move. I this is good. I'm sorry, this is nice diversity for the contest. The big D. He can perform definitely. Yes! Do you see those feet? Fancy footwork! Oh! <laughs> This is well done. You make me feel There's a massive juxtaposition of the visuals to the lyrics. I, I don't I don't get the flow. Oh I like it. He's going for modern urban gritty. Stay there. Oh yes, that desk slays. You can hear this at the gym. You can hear this on the radio. You can hear this on Spotify. Fifteen years ago, you would have been mopping to it as well. There's a revival though, Devin. Disco, funk, soul, it's being revived. He's like a little matchbox. It's easy on the ears. It is. It's okay. With the right visuals and slays. So not, Look! Not these no, this is, I think this is great. I'm still interested. This part is very Justin Timberlake. I did that move at Body Pump the night. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yes! Tonight again. I like that. Ooh, falsetto. Michael Jackson. Asha. Yes. Bruno Mars. Yes, these are all good references. Amazing. Okay. Yes. It's not, that's good. I'm sorry. It, that's good. David Yang, composer and producer. Well done. Well done. Look, I gotta say this. His back catalog showed an evolution, like he was developing. This is the best thing he's done. Yeah, this is his best song. This is his best song. This, I give him that. And that's what you want to happen for Eurovision, is deliver your best work. As I've said before, the whole funk, soul, disco genre is not my thing. However... I think many people will love this. I actually like it a lot, and I'm not into this genre. Do you know what I mean? So that says a lot about the song. He's clearly got an aesthetic mind, because this makes the song more interesting to me. Um, yeah, with the right dance moves, you know, the right visuals in Rotterdam, I could see this going through. Well, my Pinoy sister is truly excited. <laughs> I will say call on the Filipino diaspora and get voting, because this needs more than just the merits of the song. It's not a bad song, it's well produced, but at the same time, it's lacking a spark for me. 
It's just Com compared to the other songs. It's this year. so pedestrian. I'm sorry. Is it you make me feel like I'm a Okay, you're gonna say I remember it, but Well yeah, you do remember yeah, it. So there's a bit I of an just, earworm. I just I just feel like it's just not bringing any magical dust. But it's just not special. Yeah, but I but what is it though? It is an I mean, earworm. Mm -hmm. It gets under your skin. It makes you move. You were referencing Bruno Mars. You were referencing Guy Sebastian. You were referencing all these great Justin Usher, Timberlake. Usher. Justin Timberlake, a bit of K-pop as well. But at the same yeah. time, you know, you can reference all these people and still be a pastiche of what is great. I don't, you know what, the fact is, I don't care if someone sounds like someone else. What I care about is whether it makes me feel alive. And that does make me feel alive. Will it, make, will it make you feel alive to the point where you pick up your phone and repeatedly dial in votes? That's the question. You know me. I don't vote. Period. I like to keep it neutral. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I, I know, think many people will vote for that. I know I think, that ain't true, girl. I think <laughs> jurors, if he can nail this vocally, I think jurors will really respond to this. I don't know. I think it's... It's the, hard to hit, hit that while moving, though, I must say. I think it's good... I think, it, you know, a bit like Ziggs, who performed Stones, where it is a video you can always be proud of, but at the same time, it didn't move into Saturday's show. It came very close, though. But it is something you'd look at and say, oh my God, this is really decent, this is respectful. And you know what? Props to that, because I think Eurovision really now, it's not even about... Songs that don't make the cut, it shouldn't always be bad songs. There should be good songs among the mix because it elevates the contest as a whole. But my question is, is do you think this could make the final with the right station? I think station? it's borderline at best. I don't see this as... You know, I don't see this as a surefire. Um, I mean, putting Conchita to the side, Austria has typically been kind of a borderline qualifier at best. I just think this is really... I think it's so ordinary, but at the same time, it's good ordinary, you know? What's interesting to me is this year you've hated all the songs, basically. For Jesus, the most part. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For were the most you part. when I reacted to Malta? I said, for the most part, not everything. And the point is, you haven't shaded this as much as other songs, so I think that's a good sign for Austria. Because <laughs> your bar has been so high this year, and everything except for, you know, maybe Destiny Chuguniere has missed that bar for you, and Moldova. So basically, you like Moldova, and you like Malta. You know what I love about you, William? I keep it honest. No, I keep no, it no, real. no, not that. I In have fact, a memory. that is what I don't like. What I do <laughs> like about you is that... Your st your journalistic style keeps evolving. Previously, this is the first year that I remember really where I have been banned from listening to any of the songs so we could have a first reaction. Yes. So previously, you know, we used to do it differently where, um, you know, we would have listened to everything and then come with a jury, we then unpack what we feel. Right. Well, you know what? I think it's a good idea you've done that because these first reactions have been truly honest and I've just got to keep it real. Yeah, but you're more alive than you normally are. So that's why I think this reality is a good thing for Austria. Look, closing thoughts. I think this type of music, while it does reference other artists and while it does sound throwback, that's what's trendy right now. This kind of stuff is what's trendy. My sister is going to love this because she loves this type of well, music. Well, she was already hashtagging Vincent Bueno. Look at Sinnet, Freaky. That song is very disco throwback, and you love it. Uh, well, look at Thomas Zinni may have had a little bit of a hand in that. Again, the visual. So let's think <laughs> about this. We're going to have to wait for the visual, but I think this video shows like an ambition and kind of an aesthetic awareness. Vincent looks great in this. He's well styled. And I think the group... He dance is amazing. I mean, he's yeah. really, he's really, he's got quite a lot of um talent Yeah. But you know what? Filipinos have to work harder than they did for Bella Santiago. They really need to pick up the phone. And they need to vote. Because this, to me, mm. sits at the border. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think Austria and Vincent Bueno can advance to the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest? Do you think this is a borderline qualifier? Or with the right staging, could this be somewhere near the top? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Vincent Bueno once said, troubleshooting is my personal motto. You better troubleshoot. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.